Water is one of the defining problems of the 21st century. Apart from the water resources issues, there's also the problem of water quality, which affects public health in many places around the world. Uh, not only in the U.S. as we've seen with Flint, but especially in underserved communities uh, in low and middle income countries where access to clean water is not something that, uh, that we can take, take for granted necessarily. This course I teach, Environmental Technology in the Developing World, is basically a vehicle uh, to allow for undergraduates in the College of Engineering um, to work on a real research project in an underserved community, in this case in, in Cochabamba, Bolivia. Uh, where we had students uh, partnering with a local university there, especially during uh, field sampling over spring break. Throughout the semester, we plan for this trip, we write a proposal, uh, we develop methods, and we do all of this in consultation with our local partners. Then when spring break comes, we, we get in a plane and we travel to Bolivia and, and we're there for just a few days uh, to do this project with our local partners. A typical day on this Bolivian trip involved us getting up pretty much at the crack of dawn, um, meeting with our Bolivian counterparts, the school that we were working with, and uh, we would go into little buses and go to our, our area of the city for that day. You'd be driving around the city for the whole day, taking samples in the field, and then towards the end of the day, four or five o'clock, we'd go back to the lab. We'd have to process the samples, get them ready for the test, and also read samples that um, were, had been incubating um, overnight um, from the previous day or even just crunching data, yeah, just crunching is. numbers. Yeah. I would do that at dinners some nights. But it was also super fun collaborating with the Coach Obama students and us working in the lab, and then once we finished, we would go to dinner, go to sleep, and then do it all over again the next day. This experience definitely allowed us to bond in ways that we wouldn't have otherwise if we hadn't gone on the trip. Um, I think because we spent so much time together in close quarters and working all the time. That definitely allowed us to bond in ways with each other and with the students that we were working with at UCB as well. But this makes us work with engineering students from a different culture, people that use a different primary language, Spanish in this case, and it forced us to work together to accomplish a much larger goal. And we could have never done it without, uh, without the other side. Working with an underserved community has set me up to be a successful engineer because the biggest problem with working with underserved communities is a lot of times the, the technical solution, the engineering solution, doesn't take into account the community feedback. That can be applied to any engineering position because you always need to know the people or the company, whatever setting your technology, your solution is going to be going towards, it can't just be technically sound. It has to fit the mold and all those requirements. Knowing how uh, the human part fits in with the technology and science part, how those are like weave together so nicely, um, I think is something that will continue to resonate with me. I would definitely consider this a once in a lifetime opportunity, but also I hope it's not a once in a lifetime yeah. opportunity. It was like the best of all worlds and I hope I get to experience this again because it was really an amazing opportunity and I got to learn so much. These students come back to the Georgia Tech community and share this experience with the rest of us in the College of Engineering. And I think really is a wonderful representation of, um, of the value of having undergraduate researchers involved in uh, research abroad. Recognizing the important contributions that they can make. Um, if you take a really passionate undergraduate researcher and put them to work on a real world problem and give them the tools and guidance that they need, they can make incredible strides in understanding and in contributing to, to research that we do here.